Welcome to RVing and Seeing with Joanna and Phil. Today I'm going to be installing this Seaflow accumulator tank. And this is to stop the pulsing from the water pump in your RV so it's not making that loud hammering sound. Okay. It'll also be a lot easier on the pump and on the whole system because it, when that pump's chattering like that, it's chattering everything in the RV. Like every piece of plumbing running through is getting vibrated by that. Let's open it up and have a look inside. Okay, so you got your accumulator tank in here. And how this works is there's a diaphragm in here, a rubber membrane, and they pre-charge the top via this port here with 10 PSI. And then that diaphragm it's in there will stretch and go up into the upper part of this area, and it'll move up and down depending on the pressure of the pump. So that will quiet it down in theory. Now, who knows? We're going to find out shortly when I install this. Also included with it are two fittings. Okay, so you just basically cut a piece of hose out of it, put these fittings on here, hose clamps on there, and you're ready to go. This is after the pump though, not before the pump. Let's go outside and install it. Here's my water filter. And if you notice up in here, you can see my water pump. Now the left side is where it's coming out of the tank. It's going through the pump, coming back to here, and teeing into here. Now the other line that's teed into this is from the uh, city water if you're connected to park or whatever so and then everything from here goes through here uh, through the filter and then back out into the RV the easiest way would be to put it right here but the only catch with this is I'm gonna put two more batteries in the RV right here so first thing I got to do is move my water filter out of the way and then put the accumulator so the best spot that I can think of is over here I'll put a piece of plywood in here and close these two halves of because I want to keep the electrical stuff out of the water area anyway and uh, put them both over here and then that leaves me lots of room over here for the batteries Things came apart real easy. Filter, fittings, everything came apart nice. This looks real easy. Mounted up the filter in the new spot. Mounted up the accumulator tank. Looks nice and straight. No problem, right? Well, we're about to find out. Oh yeah, make sure you get lots of extra fittings. They don't line up the other way. You guessed it. I gotta move something. So I moved the filter in a little so they would line up both directions. That's what would not too bad. Put my last fitting together. We're ready to go. It's assembled. I created two things. One, I cleared out this area over here. So I can now put my batteries over here and build a battery compartment. You can see the line here is coming off the pump and the tea is coming from the water, from the city water. Okay, it's coming over here, through the accumulator tank, out the other side. This doesn't matter which way it goes. You can put it whatever way you want. Then it comes into the filter. If the filter goes back over and back into the RV system there. Let's see if this thing's gonna leak. You're gonna be the first ones to know because I'll be inside turning on the water. Oh, he sprung one leak. Wow, what a difference. I'm gonna go turn the taps on. All in all, I'm satisfied. For $40, I have a quieter water pump now. The only downside to this accumulator is that it gets louder just before the pump cuts out. I might be able to improve this by putting more air in the bladder. 
All that's left to do is take it apart, paint the board, secure the lines with wraps, and straighten the tank during final assembly. If you've enjoyed this video, give us a thumbs up and subscribe to see future videos. Thanks for watching.